Let's talk about games here. So first of all, obviously, just uh, to be clear, obviously, uh, GOG.com is uh, sponsoring this portion of the live stream. Uh, it is a site that I like a lot. I've got, like, I think 48 or 49 games through there. And one of the reasons that I'm such a big fan of what they do is because I'm a big fan of adventure games, which is sort of an, a genre that doesn't see as much love as it used to, or certainly it went through a big period of decline. It is picking it back up now, and I think online digital uh, services like GOG or Steam or just direct uh, customer sales through direct websites is letting people sort of bring back this job, which was never like a super AAA title or hasn't been in some long time. So um, so what adventure games are, they're the ten kind of mix of like puzzle RPG story based games where you go around you try to solve things there's, generally speaking there's no combat apparently there's something being shown here I'm kind of surprised actually and specifically Dreamfall is the sequel to The Longest Journey this is actually called Dreamfall The Longest Journey which is so confusing why wouldn't it be the other way around shouldn't it be The Longest Journey 2 colon Dreamfall I don't know who comes up with these things. Uh, I played the original, really, really, really loved it. Um, I actually played through it with uh, with my wife, and it was like, just a great way to do things. You're working together to try to work through t uh, problems, and then the story, you get to experience it together. It's just great. I haven't gotten around to playing the sequel yet, and I really, really meant to, so it's going to be very nice that we can do that today. And there is a third version, a third game that's going to be coming out soon, it's Dreamfall Chapters, I think it's called. And that was actually up on uh, Kickstarter, and I actually supported it on Kickstarter because... Uh, I was so excited that they were doing this. I don't, there's not a lot of times I support things in Kickstarter because I'm always like, well, I don't know if you're really going to do things and are you professional? Well, this was a professional um, studio doing a game that I was really excited about. So uh, I think last week someone else on the GOG stream streamed The Longest Journey. And so I'm doing Dreamfall and this is all in preparation of Dreamfall chapters coming out. Uh, people saying where they're from in the chat, US, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Norway, Finland, Kazakhstan, England, Germany, Germany. All right, so it is, uh, it's basically two o'clock here, so hopefully everyone who wanted to join us for the stream will be here, so we're going to start playing now. What I have done is I did already start a new game, and I got through the first intro bit, which is sort of like kind of a lot of talking and backstory, but what you need to know about the world here is that, um, the, well, there are two worlds. The, the universe, or the earth, or whatever you want to call it, is split into two. There is the realm of Arcadia and the realm of Stark. This is the realm of Stark. Stark is a land with no magic, but technology works here. In Arcadia, it's a land of magic, and the lands are split because of various reasons. You don't really need to know a lot about, um, you don't need to have played the first part to play this one, because you're playing an entirely new character. We're playing here as Zoe, who is just a, um, a, I don't know, I'm guessing early 20s girl, uh, definitely out of high school. Um, went to some amount of college or university, and I think dropped out. Uh, she's living with her father, and I believe we are in Casablanca, is where we are. So, um, I did, there was a, sort of like a, a pre, you know, like in James Bond movies, where they have the bit before the actual opening sequence. So there was one of those with a different character, and then there was her sort of getting up and having to maneuver around her room a little bit, and remember that she's supposed to be going to the gym today. And then I talked to her father. Her father's leaving on a business trip. So there we go. So we're, at this point, we're just going to leave the house and just work our way to the gym. That's it. So far, we don't really know a whole lot about what's going on. But yeah, people are talking about adventure games in chat. Police Quest is a classic. We really like King's Quest as well. We'll point out those are all available at GOG.com. I'm Hi, not, Dad. uh... Have a safe trip, okay? Bye, Dad. Have a safe trip. Bye, sweetheart. Hopefully, if people can't hear the uh, voice dialogue, they'll at least be able to read the, um, the subtitles. So, yeah, here we are in Casablanca. The game uh, did come out in 2006, so, I mean, obviously, the actual polygon count is going to be a little bit low, but honestly, I like the, uh, the lighting effects. Obviously, most of the shadows are just baked-in shadows, and there's a bit of a dynamic shadow on... Uh, on Zoe here, you know, as we walk around. So that's a nice little touch. Um, I will show you the options. If you do pick up this game, you're probably going to want to tweak some of the options a little bit. Uh, the mouse mode I changed from, um, or no, camera's good, movement is really weird. Um, but also here, I changed the uh, the camera behavior. I think it was fixed behind, I changed it to normal. I also inverted the camera horizontal axis uh, personally. So if you're having a hard time um, sort of working the mouse and stuff, just make that adjustment because it's not it's not sort of standard you know, first person or third person kind of controls over there so it might be a little bit hairy but things are awfully pretty over here like this we're in Casablanca uh, we can't interact with things if we if we move up to them we'll get sort of a little pop-up I think there was oh, I could go back inside and that's it we'll get a little pop-up here 
that shows me the hand icon, so I could go back inside, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try to leave here and find my way to the gym. Hopefully it's not too hard. And by the way, I pointed out we're in Casablanca, but I didn't mention it's the year 2209. That's right, it is the future. We are living in a futuristic society here in Stark, which is going to lead to a stark contrast eh, between this world and the world of Arcadia, where there's magic and no technology. Um, press and hold shift while moving to walk. Oh, so I run normally, but if I hold shift, I walk? Oh, that's nice. I don't think I'm going to do that. That sounds really slow. Jardin de Rose. It's even less exciting than it sounds. Hopefully you can hear the voice acting. People can hope... The game is a bit too loud. Well, with the music, perhaps. I could, um... One of the things I could do is maybe I could bring down, um, the effects and the music volume. Keep the speech nice and high so that people can hear it. Really? Next time? All right. What do we have here? Once upon a time, people scribbled words on pieces of paper and dropped them into these boxes. Why they did that, no one knows. <laughs> Undead Hippo says, A Ned Stark contrast, by which I mean someone will be beheaded. Hopefully there's no it's weddings. An ancient post box. Nothing that owes. There's lots of little signs. Some people down here. Hello! Oh, I'm trying to talk to you. No? Stop walking. Hello. Hey Zoe, we still on for tonight? Definitely. I don't know, are Leave we? the house to ourselves. Oh, that's right! Just bring a bottle of wine and a date. I have a party have tonight, to do, too. But a date? You just have to invite some more guys over. Me? I can't even find a good date for myself. We'll just have to make it a girl's night in then. Later. I gotta say one thing, commenting here. If you look at her feet... The stairs actually work like stairs. It's not just, normally they do like an invisible ramp, you know? But here, the stairs, she's actually got like her feet on different steps. All right, color me impressed. All right, nothing over here. We're gonna be blocked off at the end. Who's this Hi, lady? Joey. Hello, who are you? Olivia DeMarco, shopkeeper, genius, best friend. What kind of shop is this? Looks like some, some occult magic-y kind of place. Morning, sweetie. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Hi, Liv. I'm going to the gym and I'm running a bit late, so... Hey, listen. I've got something you should take a look at. You're not in a rush, are you? So, um... Ah, oh, the gym can wait. It's fine. In fact, the gym's full of weights. Duh! I guess the gym can wait. What's up? Not out here, silly. Big hush-hush. Inside. I like her makeup. Whoa! She just went see-through. She's a witch. Olivia Store, Alien the Cat. She does quite well for herself. She's got lots of regular customers. I haven't played this before, by the way, because that wasn't clear, so I have no idea what we're getting into. Whoa! This place is awesome! Oh, you see that, like, gorilla that's on the, uh, the shelf there? I have one of those in, well, she has one of those in her, uh, in her room. Something, it's some sort of, like, robotic AI pet thing. This place kicks ass. Those Wattillas are probably a lot smarter and more versatile than Wonka's, but I don't care. Wonka's is special. Oh, do I have like an older model? If Liv doesn't have it in stock, she can get it for you in 24 hours. Whatever it is. Oh no, it's gonna be Creepy Girl! No! Why do games have creepy little girls in them all the time? Thing again. What's going on? So find April. April, if you guys have played The Longest Journey, is the character hey, from did that you game. See, that? see what, sweetie? On the screen. I saw the same thing earlier today. It was like I don't quite know how to describe it. Like interference. Oh, my head's in the way for the subtitles. It's just noise. It was clear, but distorted. Like a bad dream. Mm, no. Could have been the static. It's been getting worse by the day. I even I'll move it as soon as we're done this. The wire for a few moments this morning. Scariest moment of my life since the collapse. Not counting that time I rode the mechanical bull. Never again. So, what did you see? There's this snowy landscape with a black house. And a little girl who looks like a ghost. And she speaks to me. Save her. 
find her. Really, really freaky stuff. Wow, that is scary. I haven't seen that. I definitely would have remembered. Are you sure you just haven't been watching too many horror movies lately? Thanks for dismissing me. In front of the screen, Why you gotta be like that? To start seeing stuff. Don't you start with that too, Liv. I'm already feeling guilty enough as it's because you're a dropout who does sorry, nothing. Sweetie. I didn't mean anything. No, it's okay. It's me. I don't know what's going on with me. She's actually clinically depressed. I barely get out of bed in the morning. Every day is exactly the same, and I'm not doing anything to change that. There's no school to go to, no job, and I barely spend time with my friends. Oh, what's left of them? I see you all the time, don't I? You haven't abandoned me. No. But that's because it's so easy to come here. If it requires any more effort on my part... And that goes for everything. I'm on autopilot. It's probably exhaustion, sweetie. So much you dialogue. Had a tough year. You dropped out of school, broke up with... Yeah, Fouad, it is a point-and-click adventure. Home. With lots of expedi all exposition of at the start here. Take its toll, no? You're probably right. And I do complain way too much, don't I? I don't want to be the whiny, apathetic Zoe. I want to be me again. Anyway, they probably have me. some antidepressants for you. You wanted to show me something. What was that, sweetie? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's something really cool. Oh, sorry. Before I forget, Dad's out of town, and I'm having some people over tonight. Would you like to come? I was going to unpack a new delivery. I like her, uh, her like, holster sure. for her cell phone. Work can always wait. From mobile. Who's coming? The usual suspects. Great. Sounds fun. How about Reza? I haven't seen him in ages. I really miss him. Any chance you guys are getting back together soon? He's not the right guy for me at this point. I mean, I love him to death. He's great. But it was getting too serious. Oh, commitment what issues. I, mean is, I was getting too serious. It was just way too early for that. And that whole long distance thing was becoming a problem for us. It's pretty ironic that as soon as we're broken up, I moved back here. Five minutes away from his apartment. Not that it makes a difference. I'm just happy we're still friends and that we're comfortable with each other. You and him are my two best friends. I don't ever want to lose that. But getting back together... Nope. This is a story-rich game. Besides, I don't think he'll be coming to the party. And from what I read it's about some of the busy. reviews, this is more story-rich, which means mostly story-talking kind of thing, than uh, the original Longest Journey, I have which um, still had a fair amount of dialogue, but was more puzzle-oriented. Okay. Let's pretend for a second that I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Can do. It's like uh, a cloak for your mobile. Want to be invisible? Just tap the screen. Well, actually, you select menu and applications, and then the icon that looks like a penguin, and then activate. But that's like one, two, three, okay, four taps. Small price to pay, seeing as you're now invisible, right? Not literally invisible. It. I'm invisible? No, you're not invisible. That is impossible. <clears throat> Except with a very, very expensive combat suit, and those things don't hold up to a can of spray paint. What this little hack does is make your mobile invisible to the eye in the sky. Ooh, You're untraceable untraceable. on the phone. The syndicate can't track your mobile. Mondo, cool, huh? That is cool. How does it work? You just, what, wear it to my mobile? Yup. Easy as strawberry pie. Give me a second and I'll... Oops. This is, like, important, sweetie. I'm buying a batch of exclusive Ethiopian mobiles directly from the factory. Real cheap. So I got So I'm sure the it. fact that the government I'll won't be able to later. track us is going to become an I'll important part of us, you, come back, you know, okay? trying to the topple the system. Alright, let's snoop around the shop. Olivia imports mobiles from manufacturers and distributors in other African markets and resells them here in Casablanca at a heavy markup. Olivia's workstation. Let me hack the computer. Refurbished and upgraded bots is a speciality of Liv's. She makes tons of money from that. There's so much crap in here. It's a miracle Liv keeps track of it all. I really have no idea what that's supposed to be. Is this it? Are we done here? Did you change my phone? I don't know. Um, I don't remember how to load up my inventory again either. Oh. Oh, if I right-click, what's going on here? Oh, I stand in place and just turn and look. That's actually kind of handy. I really have...
Mm, remind me what the other control is. Tab for inventory. Attack, left K, L, K, space. So there's combat in this game. What? What is this nonsense? I can load up the mobile. Oh, I can craft. That's kind of cool. I never leave home without my mobile. Oh, my. oh you know what? It's, it's M can pull up some stuff on my phone. I wonder if I should get to the gym. All right, she's just talking, so I'm just going to go ahead and get to the gym. Because there was no way, like, I can load up the phone and look at it. Sneak, interaction, mobile is M. My battery's low. All right. About the combat, be afraid, be very afraid. Yeah, sometimes these adventure games don't have great combat. That's not a door I can check out, no. Uh, what's that? Oh, now I'm running really late for the gym. I shouldn't waste any more time. Gemma will give me hell in that quietly menacing way of hers. Okay. But definitely. Well, let's not walk. I don't need to look at any more mailboxes. I do love this logo. So, hey, bit of a... Oh, Hiya. she's barefoot. Out for a jog? Yep, well, I'm actually heading down to the gym for a quick workout before lunch. Hey, weren't you supposed to be there already? Yeah, I'm running a bit late. You should hurry. Jamma won't be happy. I know, I know. I'm on my way. You're slowing me down! Right. We'll see you there. I like that she's running barefoot. It's actually really an enjoyable thing to do. Just watch out for glass. Okay, do I have to watch her walk away the entire way? Thank you. Should I dawdle? You can interact with people or objects from distance using the focus field. Yeah, that's the right mouse button to activate the focus field. Aim the focus field at the person you want to interact with. So, all right, Sushi so I can... Ya. Their sashimi is excellent. You can still get organic vegetables in this market. You can still get organic vegetables in this market. Ooh, coffee. After the gym. Come on, let's go to the gym first. So presumably it's this way. Because that's where my friend just went. I don't want to be yelled at. Kids goofing around. Oh, what can I? Oh, I can interact with the boy. Um, what am I doing with these kids? I, I don't know. What would I say to them? Stay in school. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm still going the right way. La place du sucre. All right, the sugar place. I don't know where the gym is. That button contacts the nearest available taxi cab. Oh! Can I cab to the gym? Hello. I apologize, but there are no available taxis in your area. Oh. Please try again soon. That's how we leave the area then. I don't know where I'm going. Where's this? The gym's on the top floor. Ah. And there's no elevator. I mean, if you're going up there to exercise anyway, why not make it easier? <laughs> it's like when I go to the gym. Everyone works so hard to find the parking place the absolute closest to the door. Ooh, change my outfit. Oh, this might be a combat practice. Oh, okay. We're going to learn about battle, I guess. You're Is this late. her? Yes, I know I'm, I'm sorry. late. sorry. I was just... Don't be sorry. Be on time. Nice abs. Mmm, confrontational. No, uh, apologetic. Sorry, it's the Canadian in me. See how I just said sorry? It yeah? won't happen again. I doubt that. You lack commitment, Zoe. You're my most talented student, but talent isn't everything. You don't take our work seriously anymore. You're wasting both your time and mine. I'm sorry, Jama. It just doesn't seem to matter as much to Duplo me. Duplex says this is the hardest fight in the it's entire not game. That martial oh, good. Arts needs to be the keyboard such an ready. Important part of your life. But passion is always important. If you lack passion for what you do, it's not worth doing. But let's leave it at that and get started on today's lesson. Ready? Go! Move the left mouse... Pre oh, left mouse button performs a light attack. Right mouse button, heavy. Did okay. I teach Ow! You that one? Mm, 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 mm. Smack! That's hey! It. Keep it up. 
Press and hold Good. space to block attacks. Okay, let's try to block something. Come at me. Or not. Movement. Oh. Oh, every time I go in for a heavy, she just punches me. Did I teach you that one? There we go. Nice little block. Oh, we get combinations. Stay focused, Zoe. Oh! You make it too easy, Zoe. You must stay focused. Keep your guard up. You're right, we have no belly buttons. No, I have a belly button. Is vulnerable. Can I try again? Do I have to defeat her? That was good, Zoe. But practice makes perfect. Apparently so. Let's start over. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. I can do this. Positions. Ready? Go. Yeah. Start with the heavy. Good. Oh, I blocked the first one, but not the rest of our combo. Light, light. Stop blocking. Stay focused, Zoe. Oh! Right through my block! What? I was blocking! Stay focused, Zoe. You make it too easy, Zoe. You must stay focused. Game's combat reminds me of Vampire the Masquerade. Vampire the Masquerade was great, but horribly buggy too. Okay, I'll try that again. Keep the guard up. Maybe I'll block the whole time? Or just block in response to attacks. Not bad, Zoe. Not bad. Let's go again. This is tough. Okay. Good. Positions. I guess it can afford to be tougher because it's non-lethal. You can't lose. Ready? Go. Oh. Did I teach you Look, that like, one? Look, I'm taking damage through the block. Did Ow. I teach you that one? You know what? Where Best defense is a good at? offense, right? I kicked her ass way more the first time. Great movement. Excellent. Ow. You From the back. Too easy, Zoe. You must stay focused. Keep your guard up, and attack only when you're opposed. This is going to be the whole stream, Fog Sight. Until I win this fight, we're not leaving. You're improving, Zoe. About time. Okay, one more, and then we continue regardless. Okay. Good. Positions. Way too defensive now. Mix up some combos. I can't combo. Ready? Go. Excellent. Excellent. One, two, three. Get my ass kicked. One, two, three. I wonder if they're lowering the difficulty with every fight or if I'm legitimately getting better. Excellent work. Sir. Hey! All right. That was good, Zoe. But if I were designing this game, I would make it so that every time you lose, it lowers the difficulty slightly, and then it keeps that difficulty for the rest of the game from that point on. Oh, no, no. I'm tired. Other things to do. No. I've been working out for a whole three minutes. Very well. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. And do try to be on time. Okay. Hello. Who are you? Nia's not been here that long, but she's really good, and really competitive. You did well today. Jammer must be pleased. Oh, here's Barefooted Girl. Arilyn. Arilyn. She's been coming here for a while. She's really cool. I like her. She must be cool. She's barefoot. I hope Jammer wasn't too hard on you for being late. Again. Yeah, ni nice subtle little jab in there. This is not what I was expecting when she said she was going to the gym. Oh no, creeper girl! No. My day, Bill Ryan. Save her. Yeah. I don't believe it. That video is following me. I swear to God. And doesn't Jama always keep that screen switched off? This is getting a bit freaky. Oh, I got a message. A thing with the screens. Am I the only one who's seen it? What's with that girl? If it's viral marketing, it's not very effective, just freaky. And who's April? What's that she said? Find April, save April, save April Ryan. Who's April Ryan? 
Whatever, none of my business. Clearly not going to be anyone relevant to this story, so let's not even worry about it. Is this fear? Yeah, you're right. Creepy little girls all over the place. Hi, Reza. Hello. Are you busy? Oh, that's the ex. Mm, not really. Why? I need to talk to you. Can you meet me at Mokoloko? Sure, when? Now? I'm already on my way there. All right, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Great. See you there. It's going to be awkward. Having coffee with Reza at Mocha Loca. Mocha Loco. So, I think that was back in the square. I think I remember seeing it. Is this a mobile garbage can? If they're mobile, how do you ever find them? I don't know, maybe they pick up some trash on their own. I really want to sit down and play whatever game they're playing here. Like, the one thing I can't interact with. Seven days. Quill, you have seven days. Seven days for what? I don't know what people are talking about. You following me? Back off, buddy. I know barely adequate kung fu or something. Yeah, there we go. Moka loka. Oh, we can look at the fountain. When I was in high school, we used to sit around that fountain, eat ice cream and gossip. Oh. It's... Mm hmm. I see him down here all the time. He must live close by. No, that's not the dude. Oh, the dude sitting over there by the pillows. Okay. My dude, I mean. Who's this? I don't know her. Alright. Let me grab a coffee first. Karen's my favorite barista. I have a favorite barista. <laughs> I need to cut back on the coffee. I've had that exact same thought. Uh, let's. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. I was just at the gym. Oh my god, what is it with people who I'm go to the gym and they keep mentioning that they go to the gym? It's like me talking about the parking, you see that? Time on my hands. It's always like that. Lucky you. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't feel particularly lucky. I just feel like I'm wasting time. I thought you were going back to, what was it, Cape Town University. I was. I might. I just don't know if school's the right thing for me at this Look, point. that guy's following me! That sounds pretty pathetic, doesn't it? I guess this is what they call... Going through a phase. At least, I hope it's just a phase. We all have those. You'll be fine. I hope so. Anyway, thanks, Karen. See you later. Look, 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 look! I'm just walking away here. Why didn't I order coffee? Okay, he, maybe he's just ordering coffee. Yeah, sure, that's what's happening. I want a coffee before I go and talk to Reza over here. I feel like I'm gonna need caffeine. Plus, it's a nice little post-workout thing. All right. Reza. Hey. One moment. Really, you're on the phone? Yeah. Call me when you're all set up. I'm with a friend. What kind of accent does he have? Okay. I like how everyone's right. got a different accent here. Who was that? Well, hello to you too, Zoe. Hello. So, who was that? <laughs> it's good to know that some things never change. It was just business. I'm curious, that's all. I'm happy you're dating again. It's not a date, it's just... Business, I know. I just don't want you to feel awkward talking about that stuff with me. We're past it's that. awkward. Noted. I'll make sure to tell you about all my romantic adventures, if they ever happen. So, how are you? I'm good. Dad left for Bombay today, so I've got the house to myself. I'm having a few people over tonight. Party? Officially, it's a... Uh... Small get-together. Ooh! Okay, we're gonna have to do a straw poll over here. Hang on, let me, let me, let me get it set up. Do we invite the X? Invite the X? Uh, yes, no. Create poll, grab the link. Boom. Boom, there we go. Click that, let me know what we should do, if we should invite him or not. Do, do, do. See what the results are. Yeah. Early votes. Couple of yes, one no. I'm gonna have to get. Oh, oh wait, I'm in the wrong. Uh, the other chat. Hang on. There we go. I forgot. <laughs> There's two chats going on: the Godcom and the Quilly Teen one. People asking. Yes, uh, she's in Africa. Uh, we are in. Um, we're in Casablanca right now. Yeah, gym, CrossFit, veganism. Those are all the things. Do you want to know if someone's vegan? Just wait. They'll tell you. You want to know if someone goes to the gym? Just wait, they'll tell you. 
So I was at the gym the other day, uh, you know, doing some squats, and yeah. <laughs> Will Webster says, I said no, he sounds like a drug, like a dealer. Now, I, I was assuming drug dealer, but it could be worse, it could be like a car dealer. All right, right now, after about uh, 300 votes, we're at 65% yes. That's pretty overwhelming. People seem to want the X at the party because I guess people want, like, horribly awkward, cringy stuff to happen. Yeah, uh, Spill the Bean says, yes, make it awkward. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to invite him. By the way, if you have time, I mean, you're welcome to... You can bring anyone you want. It's just a few people, nothing big. I wish I could, but I have some stuff to take care of. Oh, he has stuff. stuff to take care I'm of. I'm really sorry. I wish I... Don't worry about it. Mm. It's no big deal. Next time, okay? Yeah, just play it cool. Just play it cool, Zoe. You, You've been busy. Working on a story. Neck deep, as usual. I've gotten about five hours worth of sleep in the last, what, 72 hours. Oh, so you're on meth. Sounds like you're onto something big. Yeah, you're onto it something, though, right? I haven't taken it to the hand yet. I haven't even talked to Martin about it. I need more background, more research, but it's looking... It's looking pretty big. Can you tell me anything about it? I can't, I'm sorry. Hmm. Push on or back off? I want to know more. If we invited him to the party, it means we're actually still crushing on him, so... You know, we want to, like, get involved in his life. Or at least find out if he's actually a drug dealer. Come on, not even a hint. You know I never talk about the stories I'm working on. That wouldn't be ethical. Stories? Oh, it you're some sort of sense. journalist? Or are you saying I research? Know, oh. I'm being nosy. No, you're just being your inquisitive and curious self. I really don't feel like myself anymore. Are you okay? I am. I should be. I don't have any reason to complain. My dad's been supportive. I have everything I could possibly need. Enough money to go anywhere I want. The thing is... Hashtag first world problems. I don't really care about anything anymore. I don't have any goals or ambitions. And, and I hate feeling like this. It's not me. But you tell you they have legal drugs to help you? with that. I mean, it's what you told me when you broke up with. I know, Reza. But I thought it was just a passing phase, and now... Now it's starting to worry me. Is this how I'm going to be feeling for the rest of my life? You're like Debbie Downer. Like letting everyone down. Yeah, see, I can't yeah. even muster up the enthusiasm or the courage to go down to Cape Town to visit Katrina and David. What does that tell you? Not much. You're I don't know who they are. In a rut. That's all. And it's only been a couple of months since you left Cape Town. You deserve a break. I know you're trying to make me feel better, and I appreciate that, but... I don't know. I need more than reassurances at this point. I need something to get me up in the mornings. A direction in life. A purpose. Caffeine? Something to... Shit, sorry. I have to take this one. Language! No yeah? Guys, we just entered the PG-13 okay. portion of the stream. You. Just stay there. Sorry about that, Zoe. Although I guess we've already talked about meth. You were saying? Don't worry about it. Uh, I know you've got stuff to do. Speaking of that, you said on the phone you wanted to talk. What's up? I need a favor. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, he wants a favor. I guess I really like, I don't know who does the voice acting for her, but it's really good. He's not bad either. It's kind of interesting and different. Um, during the very intro bit, there's like a dude who's, I think a guy from the first, the original game. And he's, he's so whiny. Oh, that voice, just miserable. Um, <laughs> it sounds like a lot of work. You don't even know what it is. It sounds like a lot of work. Do we, you know, let's straw poll this again. He's not coming to our party. I don't know. Um, help Reza? Question mark? Yes, no. Create poll. Boom. Link in poll. One. And other channel. Mm -hmm. Time is it? Okay, 30 minutes in. Yeah, in about an hour and a half, we'll do some Civ 5 multiplayer. But for now, we're going to keep trying to... Uh, Figure out who the creepy little child in the TV is. Wow, it's a lot of votes very quickly. And very divided. We're currently 53 and 47%. Very close. Wait till the next batch of votes comes in. Do, 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 do. 54% yes. 53% yes. 
by slim margin, Yes is going to win out here. Although prepaid game says, uh, no, don't help that douche. Um, douche is a French word for shower, so let's not... Let, but we're going to apparently help out the shower over here. So yeah, sure. Sure. I don't have any other plans still, this afternoon. I'm secretly crushing Wait. on him, so... It's nothing big. I just need you to go downtown and pick something up for me. Oh, a FedEx what quest. Is it? Do you know where the Sishadri building is located? Mm, nope. It's not far from the hub. There's a company there called Jiva, a biotech lab run by a woman named Chang, Helena Chang. All I need you to do is pick up a package from her. She's expecting me, but I've done your package. right now, and I need that package as soon as possible. I don't want to use a courier simply because it's sensitive material. Is Chang it drugs? Is if it's that drugs, you can tell me. What kind of drugs is it? I'll is send it her drugs? a message and tell her you're picking it up. It's your meth, isn't it? Is that all right? I mean, you don't mind, do you? Not at all. Can I have some it's of it? Apparently I'm having problems staying Jiva, like awake and motivated. Package. What could as possibly go possible. wrong? And come to my apartment as soon as you have the package, okay? Oh, I'll come I'll to get your apartment. Bites to pay you for a couple of hours' work. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing this for the feed, Reza. I'm doing it for you. Thanks. For you. I really appreciate it. So I'm getting get guessing the hand that feeds or bites the hand. Bi bites the hand. Doing? I think that's his business. Top secret stuff. Blog or whatever. Party. Sorry, small get together tonight. What? If I finish up early. I'll try and stop ah! Okay, if you finish early. And if you can endure the gossip and the red wine. The way it's going, we're looking at a real girl's night in. I'll keep that in mind. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks again for helping me. Red wine makes me feel funny. Bye. White wine is fine. But red wine, mm, doesn't agree with me for some reason. Alright. I'm going to pick up his drugs. Mocha Loco's got the best coffee and comfiest seats in Casablanca. Honestly, though, I could sit here all day, sitting in that spot right now, like, sipping on some coffee or tea or something, and just watch the world go by. That'd be amazing. I'm assuming we can take a cab now. Oh, I'm going to head that way. Where's the creepy guy? We still being followed? No. There's this guy over here, but he's been sitting at the sushi place for a while, so I think we're okay. Catacake says he's making you a drug mule. Yeah, that's that's really what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Vipe says I look like a young Guillermo del Toro. I think I guess that's good. Oh look, there's a cab waiting for me. How convenient. Actually, kind of a cool-looking uh, kind of cab, actually. It's an official Casablanca city cab. Not only are they free, they're, they're free. Okay, listen. If it turns out that this world is run by like evil, horrible, like Illuminati, I don't care. You get free cabs all over. Look at all the planes. Holy cow! Yeah, T T L J is set in the future. So is this one. It's 2209, I think. 22 something. No driver? Yeah. Automatic robot cabs. But it's the future, and we're living in Stark, the world of technology. That's the cab caller, so we don't need that. This this is an elevator? This is what we're going to be going up to? You know how some people have fears of elevators? This place is creepy! Okay, obviously an evil corporation lives here. That button calls an elevator pod. Elevator pod. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that would be... I don't really have a fear of heights, but that would make me feel queasy. All glassed in like that and just supported on the one side. <laughs> yeah, all Quill needs to accept a dictatorship is free cabs. Absolutely right. I mean, the magic world might be cool too, but... Is she crawling on the desk? Oh no, she's just standing up. Because her monitor is not at the right height. Listen, that is not ergonomic. You never want to have to look up your monitor. You'll get cricks in your neck. You want to look slightly down. Look, th this woman has to stand up to use her screen. This is an evil corporation. They don't care about ergonomics. Ooh, snacks. After I learned about bioneering, I never wanted to eat vending machine food again. Yeah, we do. No way. Those things are loaded with nanites. Really? 
Creator, it says something about GMOs. Nanites are the problem now? All right, that's a little bit creepier. Classy. Real classy. Plasticky leather seats. Very shiny, though. I like how we just saw something go by. Oh, can I look out? Limited angle. Very cool. Oh, you know what these buildings remind me of? Um, uh, Mirror's Edge. Everything's blue, except for, like, the one hint of orange that's supposed to lead your path. Oh, Mirror's Edge is a great game. Another one I'll have to do someday. Magazines. Science periodicals. Oh. I used to be into that, but not anymore. Because you're clinically depressed. Girl, get yourself some help. Fresh water, courtesy of the Bingo Corporation. Laced with plenty of addictive hallucinogenics. Well, what do we need meth for? Oh! All right. Hello. Who are you? Nice shades. I'm here to pick oh, up a and lipstick. from Ms. Chang. My name I don't know is about Zoe the bodysuit. She's not here right now. I don't know anything about a package. You'll have to come back tomorrow. We're closed. What? We're closed? Are you a cat burglar? Are you robbing this place? We had an appointment. I have an appointment with her. Can I wait here? No, I already told you. She's not here. I love We're the closed. lipstick, though. The purple so like and the little... Leave. Now. Um. <laughs> uh, something bad is happening. Either I should tell the receptionist about the woman on the screen. Mm. Something isn't right. I think the receptionist is involved. I need to distract her somehow. I'm leaning towards that. Or I could just leave. Yeah, something, some bad stuff's going on. Hold on, we're gonna... I need a straw poll here. I'm tempted to do, like... Be brave. We'll just distract her and go and save the day. Although, that doesn't really seem like Zoe. Um, what to do? We are going to screen, distract, or get out. So we can point out the screen. Distract her and try to go in there and be a hero. Or leave. There's the straw pole in both channel. Do, do, do. Where's the results? Ooh, early lead for distract, big lead, without without too many votes in yet, it does have an 80% lead, that's only with 14, we'll expect probably a couple hundred, okay, an update, wow, distract, still a huge lead, 147 votes for that, 24 for screen, and 9 for get out, there's no way anything else is going to beat distract at this point, I think it's pretty fair to say, with a 77% um, piece of the pie chart, okay, let's see what happens. Don't be a hero, Zoe. Uh, thanks for your help. I'll come back tomorrow. By the way, that's beautiful pigmentation. What? Your hair. Beautiful pigmentation. That's has been. What color is that? I didn't even notice her hair. I don't. I don't know. Just a standard shade that came with the the implant. Listen, I. It's really nice. Looks very good on you. Actually, is nice. I've been thinking about going blonde. What do you think? Well, <laughs> maybe. Listen, I don't have. I really need to get this done uh, before I'm done, so... And I'm very sorry to keep you, but I really do need that package. I already told you several times. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Maybe Ms. Chang left the package for me somewhere. Could you please have a look? I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to... to search for a package. Okay, the screen's gone away. Plead. I need to trick her into keep... into looking for that package. Or barter. No, that still says the same thing. So I can beg for it, or I can offer to do a favor for her. I think I've tried pleading enough. I'm going to try bartering. I'd get out of your hair quicker if you could just give me two minutes of your time. Sounds really? pretty pleading. Could you just check in that room? Maybe Ms. Chang left it in there somewhere. Oh, fine, I'll take a quick look. But if it's not in there, you will have to leave. We really are closed. Thank you so much. Excellent. Let's use your computer. Let's adjust your computer down. She's so she's just cranky because it's at the wrong angle. Yuck, 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 yuck. Dun, dun, dun. There's an icon here that says hallway. Ooh. Shit. Kano, get your ass in here. We've got trouble. What the? Kano? Seriously? <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Apparently the trick is to just stay far enough away and use long-range attacks. She's out cold. I can't... I 
I can't believe I actually knocked someone out. Me either, actually. She's out cold. Yeah, okay. I can't... I can't believe I actually knocked someone out. All right, we've unlocked that. I also want to check the side room. Can I get in here? Is that a thing? Come on. She's out cold. No. The door has an electronic lock, but it's only accessible from the outside. Okay. I guess we're going this way. <laughs> we're in so much trouble. Um... Ow! Uh, hello? The doors are jammed, and the circuitry has been EMP'd. What's going on behind her? Looks like that whole room's flooded with gas. Yeah, that's not gonna work. She's pointing up. Upstairs, nothing I can reach here. Okay, let's. Oh, what's it? What's over here? I should be able to climb up there. Oh! All right. Oh, cool. Crouchy mode. The cover's loose. I should be able to open it. There's a handle with a label that says, Pressure Release. I'm going to release toxic gas into the city and kill everyone. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, there we go. Hello, I'm here for my package. Thank God. The gas was starting to leak through. Another few minutes. What just happened? Who are those people? This is neither the place nor the time for explanations. We need to leave now. But I need my package first. No. Hey. Urgh. Hold on. Is there anything else over here? Mm, no. Damn it. Now how am I going to get back with Reza if I can't get his stuff? He's going to be all mad at me. Someone's tampered with the system and blocked all access to this floor. I'll need to find a workaround. Okay. Listen, if you need me to beat up anyone, I can totally do that now. I've reactivated the manual override. Try the call button for the elevator. It should work now. Quickly, get into the elevator. We can't stay here any longer. Okay, but my package... Oh. He's gonna be really cranky if he doesn't get his drugs in time. Owe you my thanks for saving my life. I wasn't thinking. I'm. Oh, I knocked someone out. Me. I've never hit anyone in my life. You did what you had to do. You defended yourself. Actually, I threw I the first punch. You, but I technically, don't have people trying to kill me. They weren't trying to kill you. They were trying to kill me. Now, who are you? And what were you doing in my laboratory? I'm Zoe Castillo. Are you Helena Chang? That's not... Castillo. I see. Yes. Yes, I'm Helena Chang. How do you know my name? I came by to pick up a package for a friend of mine, Jericho. Jericho? I told him I wouldn't give the package to anyone but him. He couldn't make it, didn't he tell you? I never got that message. Maybe it was intercepted. That would explain a lot. Look, I don't like this. Those people who try to... to kill you. Are they looking for... for Jericho, too? I wouldn't know. But I need to leave right now. Here, take this. Please, deliver it to Jericho as soon as Yay! possible. Yay! Drugs! What is it? Information. He'll know what to do with it. Oh! He's trying to leak something on his news site. Yeah. She acted a bit strange when I told her my name. Like, why does she react to my last why name? Why did you react to my name earlier? Do you know my father, Gabrielle? Right. Your father? N no. No, I... I knew a Castillo once. A long time ago. I'm sorry. But I don't have time for chit-chat. I have to leave. Wait, I need to ask you... 
Please deliver the package to Jericho right away, and thanks again for your help. I shall not forget it. Zoe Castillo. Hey. Hey, wait! That's my cab! No! Damn it. Reza has some serious explaining to do. Check the inventory. Uh, I don't know what gear does. I have to get this to Reza as soon as possible. Uh-huh. Ooh, I opened it. It's a data cube. Hope he doesn't mind. A data cube. I'm sure it's encrypted. I don't know. Combine cube with phone. Nope. Okay. Not crafting. He had a message. Should get this passage to Reza ASAP. He said he'll be in his apartment. He's got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. Hopefully there's a cab. Hail cab! Wait. Oh, we're back here. His apartment's here somewhere? Okay. Apparently he lives five minutes away from me. I'm assuming it's not in this direction. Drama studio is on the top floor. Okay, well I'm not going back there. Maybe he lives back in my initial zone. I don't know. Sell it on eBay for much monies. Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh. Are you okay, kid? Are you playing airplane? Or are you freaking out? Okay, everything is normal. Um, so I think I live that way. What's over here? No, I came from here. Never mind. Let's go this way. Briarstone bows to the cab overlord. We've started a new religion. It's taxiism. I have no idea what's where. Oh. Reza's lived in that building for almost five years now. There we go. Uh, do we think he's dead? Or he's getting beat up? I mean, I've played enough sort of detective-y kind of stories to know there's no way we're delivering this and getting the information we need right away. To me's apartment 8. Apartment 8. wonder if that's upstairs. Two, one. Can we open these doors, though? Oh, we're knocking. All right, one, two. I bet you it's three or four over here, so it's probably upstairs. Three and four, yeah. Nice place, though. I like it. I mean, it's a, it's a walk up, but, you know. Whoa! Kitty! Kitty! Oh, it doesn't have a cat. And why is the door to his apartment open? Dun dun dun. Killer one, are you talking about starting a reform taxiist religion? So we'll have to start a holy war. Okay, I look out the window and see nothing. All right, I have no idea where the cat went. Reza's apartment. Hey, he's got one of those uh, robot gorillas, too. Reza? Reza? Please have no hired killers in he here. leaves the apartment unlocked. This is weird. Doesn't look like it's been ransacked or anything. Oh, my what God. What the? Are you okay? She's got a big wound in the back he's of her head. Cold. She actually just looks like some sort of doll. So, oh, no, the creepy girl. No! What's going on? Creepy girl. Find creepy April. girl. Save Does whatever April. a creepy girl can. Uh, those, are, those are eye commandos. Downstairs. Uh. Oh, I can move? I didn't know that. Here. Yes, take that. What the hell is that thing? I don't know. You know what? I should have just grabbed the tape. I'm not touching it. Yes! Touch it! No! Oh, fuck! I thought I'd have to run out the window, but now I'm gonna get murdered. That's apartment eight. That's where I am. Um. Go, go, go! Hands uh, behind your head. Listen, I, I warned you. Ah! I hope that was set to stun.
if there was anything else I was supposed to do in the apartment. I'm upside down! Oh, okay, no, I'm State fine. State your name and CID number for the record. What is this place? Who are you? State I am a giant your room. and CID number for the record. <laughs> All right, cooperate. I shouldn't play with fire or counteract. I'm just going to lawyer up. What do we want to do, guys? Are we going to play good and hope that everything will work out? You know how it is with the police. As long as, you know, you just play along... Nothing will ever go badly. Whereas, you know, staying silent and quiet, that's a recipe with, for disaster when it comes to the police, right? Popo. Uh, cooperate or counteract. Well, counteract. It's kind of a weird way to say it. Boom, boom. boom. Strapple, strapples. Give me a vote. Wow, three quarters of the people want to counteract. We're gonna lawyer up. Keep your mouth shut, play smart, don't say a word. All right. I want a lawyer. Name what, oh, lawyer. CID number now. I was scanned when I was brought in. You know who I am. You're being held under the Syndicate Anti-Corporate Activities Statute in connection with murder and possession of contraband software. I would strongly suggest that you cooperate in every Frickin way Reza. possible, or face the consequences. You guys shot me. Isn't that a violation of my rights as a citizen? As of this moment, Miss Castillo, you have no rights. What were you doing in Mr. Tamiz's apartment? Getting framed, apparently. Truth or lie? Well, lying is not good. Keeping your mouth shut is good. She's not doing a very good job of that. Let's do another poll here. Truth lie. Lying is bad because if they catch you in a lie, you get in more trouble later. On the other hand, well, we haven't actually done anything wrong, I suppose. Strictly speaking. Straw poll. Oh, people are saying lie, lie, lie. Lie, lie, lie. Ooh, truth coming back. It's tie now. Slight lead for lie, but not much. 51%. Now 50-50? Oh, but this is going to be intense. We need to count, again, count every ballot on this one. Mr. Bird says, fight the man! <laughs> Yogso says, she's white. Everything will go right if she cooperates with the police. Uh, Bela says, stream interactivity is fine. Yeah, like, for games like this, I think that's the way to do it. You know, sometimes the stream chat gets you in more trouble, like what happened maybe in Crusader Kings earlier. But for games like this, sometimes getting into trouble is good. Okay, we're at 55% for Truth right now, with uh, nearly 300 votes coming in. It looks like Truth is going to win it. We'll see exactly what that uh, results in. I demand a recount in Florida, says Lance. Alright, 55% Truth, so we're going to do that. We're going to speak Truth to Power. Reza to me, asked me to do a favor for him this afternoon. He's a good friend of mine. I had to punch I went to out pick one up person downtown, and I was just dropping it off when, well, you know. Where did you pick up this package? A Ugh. company called Jiva. They're located in the Sashadri building downtown. I can't remember the floor. There's no way this is going to work did out. You meet at Jiva. Helena. Helena something. I can't. Chang. Helena Chang. Look, I was doing Reza a favor. He told me to pick it up and bring it over to his place. That's all. This Helena person. She had something that's connected to a story Reza's working on. What wow, she's story? saying everything. He didn't tell me. Keep he your mouth me. shut. It really was just a favor for a good friend. Oh. I need to make him understand that I had nothing to do with this or I can reason. I'm sure he'll understand if I just reason with him. No, there's no way. There's no way either one of these are going to work. I want to go reason. I'm sure there's a good explanation for everything. Reza wouldn't ever harm anyone. If Mr. Tamiz attempts to contact you, Miss Castillo, you will call us immediately. And you are not to leave Casablanca without our permission. Mostly because now, we didn't design the rest again, of the world. From the top, what did Mr. Tamiz ask you to do for him?
Hi, this is Reza. I'm either nice busy view or here. Sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up, and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Um, hi, it's me. Your your mobile has probably been switched off for uh, for obvious reasons, but if we do get this message, Reza, um, please, please come home. I'm sure things can be sorted out. I guess this means you're not coming to my party. Oh, well, the party probably didn't really happen. Worried. Call me, okay? I guess it depends Bye. how long I was in the oh, police send me a message. in detention. Just, oh, something, anything. Bye. This is my room. Dad, Check this please, place out. Help, please, please. Hello, Zoe. Dad. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm currently away from my phone. Leave me a message, and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Oh, shit. That's not a good message to leave for your dad. He's like, oh, I got a message from my daughter. Shit. Okay. What happened to Reza? Where is he? No one knows where he is. Not even Martin. Who's Martin? I don't know. Can't get a hold of him, and the eye's looking for him. I have to help him somehow. I have to find him. Whatever. I think I'm just going to go to bed in my giant bed. Awesome room with the best view in the universe. Maybe drink some of this wine that's over I here. should clean up that mess at some point. Oh, if the wine's empty, then that's no good. Go through the door. Let's go to bed. Like, check this place out. Zoe, Boom. there's a message. Okay. Creepy gorilla. Hey, Zoe. Um, this is sort of awkward. Yeah. Bonkers, I don't have time to... But remember the time we hopped the vac tracks to Europolis without telling anyone? And you got completely shit-faced? What? I had to carry you to that sleazy hotel down on Yarl Street. And you spent half the night throwing up. The next morning, you bought me that antique lighter. Remember? Zoe, this is Reza. I, um... Okay, good, because this was getting really weird. It, ...to make him play a pre-recorded message in case something happened to me. I don't want you to worry. All this means is that I haven't checked in with him for 24 hours. I'm probably okay. However, in case something has happened... I need you to do me a favor. I keep an updated copy of my notebook in my apartment. I'm not going back to your apartment. There's a dead person there. Everything about the story I'm currently working on. I wire over my notes and research twice a day. Uh huh. I need you to get that note. I'm staying home in my room and take it somewhere safe. If I'm, if I'm in trouble, get the information inside to my editor. You will need to decrypt it first, so talk to you know who. I don't know who that is. She can oh, take care of that, I'm sure. Mobile phone to girl. Find the notebook. I keep it somewhere safe. Go to my apartment and tell Lucia what I told you the day you left for Cape Town. She will find the notebook for you. I'll be here when you come back. Jesus, Reza. Please be okay. Like I said earlier, I'm probably okay. Maybe I just forgot to check in. Maybe Wonkers has malfunctioned. Maybe, uh, maybe I just had to leave. Quickly. But get the notebook, just in case. You're the only person I can trust with this, Zoe. Keep it safe, and I'll see you soon, okay? Right. Reza left a message with me with Wonkers, something about a hidden safe in his apartment. Lucia Reza's Watilla. Oh, oh, his monkey can open it for me if I tell it the correct code word. Whatever is in that safe, maybe it'll lead me to him or at least point me in the right direction. Actually, I shouldn't say monkey. It seems to be some sort of ape. But um, no, I'm going. I'm hiding under the blankets. I'm never so coming I out. So I have a thing for pillows. I'm never coming out. But yeah, I was gonna say there's a on this wall here. This is a TV. No. Oh. I had to bug dad a million can times I turn it on? before I got this central screen on. Boom! Look at that. What an awesome room! Central screen off. Oh, I would never leave. No one. She's not depressed. She's just complacent because her room is awesome. Can I change again? My backpack. No, can't take the backpack. I think I can close this. There's a box of. What a mess. What a mess. There's nothing to clean it up. Just ah, oh, what a mess. Um. Do I need to pee? I'm glad I don't have to share a bathroom with Dad. He's... messy. Um... 
Well, if this was a male protagonist, he'd be peeing right now. Favorite place in the world. I take the longest showers. Long showers are really good. What else is there to do? Well, apparently beat people up and find murder girls. I'm running out of clean clothes. Well, I guess I'll just wear the same outfit for the entire game then. Unless I'm sparring at the gym. You start off in like your PJs. One of the first things you have to do is change in your closet, so that's nice. Anything up here? No. I've been here before. This is the house you start in. I went downstairs. I had a big talk with my dad about how he was leaving to Bangkok. I don't remember. The kitchen hasn't seen much use yeah. lately. I don't think there's anything new. So apparently we're going to go back to his apartment for some reason. Use the living room much. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh, I got a call on my phone. Uh, hi Zoe, or a message. I hope the soiree went well last night. Yeah, I spent the night in some sort of freaky giant police room. Everything is okay here. My room at the Mumbai Centennial has a fantastic view of the river. Oh, it wasn't Bangkok, it was Mumbai. The sunset last night was spectacular. I'll call you soon. Take care, Dad. And that's from, yeah, the gym thing. All right. Um, can I go through here? No. Right, so I go down. I take a right down at the stairs. That's the, um, the mobile phone place. Can I get the uh, mobile phone hack right now? It would be really nice. The thing that makes me untraceable. Thank God you're here, Liv. I don't know what to do. Rez has disappeared and the eye's looking for him. I need you to slow down, sweetie. Where have you been? In jail! I came over last night, but you weren't home. No one had heard from you, and your mobile was off the wire. Completely. That's because I was arrested. What? There was a dead woman in Reza's apartment, and... And... And the eye... I think you were technically detained? They shot me. I don't know what's happened to him. They did shoot or you. Or where he is. They asked me all kinds of questions about him. I think he's in serious trouble, Liv. Calm down, sweetie. I'm sure he's all right. Take a deep breath and start from the top. Okay. I met Reza at the coffee shop yesterday and he asked me to pick up a package. I don't need another recap. I just did this. Oh, okay. Fade to black. Good. Excellent. When I woke up, I was in this strange room in the syndicate building. Alone. I spent half the night in there. Over and over again, the same questions about Reza, Jeeva, the package. They didn't let me go until early this morning. Wow, Zoe, that's, that's so scary. I can't imagine what it was like for you. You must have the worst hangover in history. Wow, do you know what was in that package? Hangover? A data cube. They told me it held sensitive information, but that's all I know. It had to be pretty sensitive for the eye to raid Reza's place. I wonder what it was. This sounds really serious, Zoe. Whatever it was... I don't believe Reza had anything to do with the dead woman. He wouldn't hurt a fly. It must be that story he's working on. Maybe he pissed off the wrong people. Maybe he uncovered something really bad. And now... Now I'm involved too. You'll be okay, sweetie. They let you go. People are trying to okay. convert people to what taxiism in, in, the, in the again? chat. I'll rustle up some contacts, do a bit of digging. See if anyone's got the lowdown. Jeeva. And the woman's name was Helena Chang. I'll send out some feelers on the old network. See what I can come up with. It has to ring someone's bell. We'll figure this thing out, Zoe. And you know, I'm sure Reza's fine. He's been in trouble before. He Love her makeup. His way around those syndicate goons. Apparently I'm going to say that about all the characters in this game. I got a message from him through Wonkers. Except maybe Zoe. It mostly looks like she looked through one of those trick telescopes that leaves a black ring around your eyes. The message told me how to find his notebook in his flat. That might give me some idea what's happened to him. Sure you want to go back there, sweetie? You don't mess with the eye. Those battle suits aren't Halloween costumes. Besides, his flat's probably been sealed by now. Rez is in trouble and he needs my help. There must be something you can do. If you're absolutely sure? Yeah. I can get you through an eye Yes, seal, upgrade my phone! To upgrade your mobile. What if I'm arrested again? I don't need to get charged with possession of illegal software on top of everything else. Don't worry. 
I'll mask the hack. Anyone checks your mobile, all they'll find are some new avatar masks. What do you want? Fluffy bunny rabbits or cuddly koala bears? Rabbits. Surprise me. Okay, but first, let me tell you how this hack works. The firewalls got these symbols that are difficult to automatically decipher. Don't ask me why, it's a mystery. All you have to do is match the symbols at the bottom of the screen with the exact same symbols in the matrix, one by one. Match so there's a hacking mini game. And the code breaker does the rest. But there's a time limit. Stay connected for too long and the code breaker disconnects. Hacking mini game. That way, you avoid triggering alarms. You can usually reconnect again after a few seconds. So it's almost like a game. Sweetie, Almost. it's definitely not a game. There are real people safeguarding the wire, and most of them aren't particularly friendly. You don't need to tell me that. I've learned the hard way. Okay, I'll update your mobile now. Oh, and I'm also giving you that yeah, give me the cloak. cloak we spoke about yesterday. You'll be invisible to everyone. Invisibility cloak. I'm Harry Great. Potter. That might come in handy. Need a marauder's map. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Done. You're good to go. But Zoe, promise me you'll be careful, okay? And give me a call if you need help with anything. Or get yourself into trouble. No trouble. Mm -hmm. And I'll definitely call you if I need help. Yeah, you're the most effective Thanks, person Zoe. I know. You're the best. Sweetie, I'm sending you into eye territory equipped with an illegally modified mobile. I'm either your best friend or your worst enemy. All right. Oh, mm, there we go. So we got the hack. So let's go to the apartment. So yeah, I will point out again, the uh, the first longest journey was probably a little more puzzly and a little less linear, but I am digging the story a lot. Uh, so who the hell is you're new? Kind of. All right, you're fine. Just getting really paranoid about people. Very paranoid. So I think his place was up here, wasn't it? I didn't even check to see what was down there. Maybe there's a back door to the apartment building. Oh, the door is wide open. No, it's not. Never mind. All right, let's go back in here. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, no problem. Just trespassing the police cordon area. All right. Anyone actually outside? No, they just have a clamp on it. All right. And this window's still open. I'm going to look outside. We're going to see a sniper. Nope. Okay. First hacking minigame. The eyes put a clamp on Reza's door. They don't fool around, do they? Doesn't the door open inward? Use your mobile on the door clamp. Make sure you're standing close to the door. Okay. Oh, select the mobile. Oh. With the mobile selected, click the left mouse button on the use icon. Is this the use icon? Oh, this is the use icon. Okay. So we got to find that, that, and one of these. Not too bad for a first attempt. Easy peasy. You open the door, dude with the gun in there. Oh, now they've ransacked the place. Hello, creepy ape robot. And Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. Oh. Okay, some sort of attack bot. Shit, they've placed a surveillance spider in Reza's place. I'll need to find a way to disable that to get into his safe. Also, the spider fried Lucia. Hopefully, I'll be able to fix her. Okay. So I don't want to get fried. What happens if I move in here? Hang on. Save game. Uh, press and hold control while moving to sneak. Oh, I'll, I'll crouch down slightly. Oh, I run over some glass. 
No! No! <laughs> Oops. I think I stepped on some glass. Like, I heard clink clink and then the thing got up. Uh, reload. I'm really happy I just saved, because otherwise we'd be starting over from scratch, basically. Maybe there's an autosave when you uh, go through doors. So. Alright. Let's stay away from the glass. Lucia's completely busted. Okay. Can I... Okay, so it's noise activated. It's... No, I stepped on something. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Ah! I think I bumped the chair. I did. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Yeah, I am sneaking. Just hitting things. Again, with like... Knowing Reza, there's only beer and leftover pizza in the fridge. Maybe we can get the surveillance drone drunk. Okay, I'm gonna try to sneak behind it, maybe? Actually, I should give another save. It's got some sort of logo on it. A golden lion's head. Okay. No, I can't do that. Is there anything here that will help me? I've spent a lot of nights in that bed. It's very comfy and bouncy. Oh, all right. I'm not particularly tired. No, but grab a blanket or something. We can put it over its head. No, really? I'm not particularly tired. All right, that won't work. Maybe in the bathroom. The finest in Japanese toilet technology. Um, no. Maybe I could get the spider in here. Right, okay. That panel controls everything from the water temperature audio to system. the audio system. Okay, so can we make noise and draw it in here? And not get murdered? That panel controls everything from the water temperature to the audio system. Oh. That panel controls everything That's it. from the now water temperature That's it. That's in there. It's going to ignore me. The audio system. Close the door. Turn on the shower. Okay, well, that was easier than I thought. Good job, Zoe. You're well on your way to becoming a secret agent. We've destroyed government property, so everything's great. Okay, so now we need to find a way to fix Lucia before she can open the safe for me. Okay, at least I can run away around. Lucia's completely busted. And should reboot? I got spare parts? Battery and processing unit have been completely fried by the spider. I must find replacements for both of them. Is that something I can do in here? I've removed Lucia's power source and brain. Nothing left but mechanical parts now. Reza usually sticks to notepads and his mobile when he's working. The console's mostly for research and fun. That means he plays a uh, Civ 5. Nothing here. Reza wouldn't keep any of his work on this console. All right. Where's the Knowing spare parts? Reza, there's only beer and leftover pizza in the fridge. I wonder if I should just bring these bits. Reza likes it dark in here. To um. I'm not particularly tired. To the mobile phone place. I've removed Lucia's power source. I want. Can brain. I? Nothing left but mechanical parts now. Oh, what if I put this in my robot at home? I mean, I assume I can't combine it with my phone or anything like that. No. Yeah, maybe I can do that. Although... Hmm. 
Gotta find replacements. I'm thinking I'm gonna go to the mobile phone place. She's gotta have spare parts. Unless I can take them out of my other robot. Check the spider. Oh! Now that it's been fried? Zoe 1, spider 0. Zoe 1, spider... That panel controls everything no. from the water Looks like no. to the audio system. Um, no. Hmm. Still nothing out there. Good. No snipers. Knock on people's doors, see if anyone's got a replacement. Don't think anything's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm going to try to go home and uh, go to my my wonkers and see if I can sub the parts in and out, see if that makes a difference. I think I live here? Yeah. Where do I live, you guys? Mm-hmm. We'll check the uh, mobile phone shop as well. She might be able to help. Liv's workstation. No network in the world is safe when she gets wired. Liv? What's up, sweetie? Nothing much. I just stopped by to say hello. What? No! I'll see you later, okay? What? Okay. No! She's like the tech expert! There's so much crap in here. It's a miracle Liv oh. keeps track of Open it. your inventory and select the item you wish to give. Oh, maybe, maybe pop-ups are good. Hey Liv, I need some help. Sure. What? Now I'm going to have to try to give all my items to everyone Wattilla, all the time. And I need to get it running again to find his notebook. I've removed some parts from it and I think they're broken. I'll take a look. Gimme. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, never gets. Don't you know your matters okay. yet? Okay, so I can't fix either of these. They're totally fried. Do you have any replacement parts? I have a power source here somewhere. Hold on. That should work just fine. But I don't have a processing crystal in stock, I'm afraid. If you can't fix this one... Then what about Lucia's memories? The data is continuously backed up to a separate crystal. You can use any Watilla brain you want. How about the Watillas you sell here? Don't they have brains? They're shells, refurbished. I'm waiting for an order from mm -hmm. Watilla. Do I have to use Wonkers? It's not due until next week. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to figure it out myself. Thanks so much, Liv. Where can I get a working Watilla? Hmm. I don't know, maybe my house. In my awesome room of awesome, which I should have never left. Oh. I just saw the eyeball icon. I'm like, oh, what can I look at? Oh, right, the post office box. I've already done that. I live here? The Abathas live there. No. Nice family. Their cooking always smells so good. And now they're living next to a criminal. Man, I've committed a lot of crimes. I love my kitchen, too. You guys say, oh my god, someone's ransacked my bedroom, but no, I, that's the mess I left it in. Listen, Wonkers, I have to dissect Joey. you. I'm terribly sorry. Mm, anyway, there we go. Oh! What the hell was that sound? Is that the monkey? Wonkers has been with me since I was four. Dad bought him for me after Mum passed away. <laughs> and now I'm going to dissect it. I hope you're okay with it, buddy. Hi. Hello, Zoe. Oh. Wait, what? I'm sorry I haven't had time to play with you lately. I've had so much on Before my I mind. tear out your brain, I want to interact okay, with you a little bit more. Until you have less on your mind. 
I like having you home again. I like his voice. I missed you when you were gone. You mean when I was in Cape Town? You missed me? Every day. I used to sit in the window and Aww. watch for you all day and all Aww. night. You're breaking my heart, Wonkers. We need to find you a friend. But you're my friend, Zoe. You're the only friend I need. There's nothing on my schedule today, right? Just the gym. Nothing else. Again? I won't be going to the gym today. I have too much on my mind already. Okay. Wow, I think he was judging us with that okay. Was that the only message from Reza you had for me? What message, Zoe? Ooh. The message you played earlier. The one from Reza. Don't you remember? No, I don't remember any message. That's weird. I'll talk to you later, Wonkers. Okay, Zoe, I'll be here. Hey, Wonkers, I need you to switch yourself off for me. Why? Because... because I just need you to go oh, to sleep for a bit. You're gonna go to sleep for a really long time! All right, Zoe. Promise to wake me up later? I promise. Sure, probably. Nighty night. The great shutdown mode. Sorry. I'll put you back together once this is all over. I just need to twist the neck like... that. Ouch. Oh, I took out his brain. That's it. The processing crystal. Okay, so I have to go back to the original one. I can't just install it in Poor here. Old Wonkers is brainless. Literally. But it's just CPU, I think. They were talking about memory crystals and stuff, so Wonkers is still fine. He just can't wake up unless we until we install a, a brain in him again. Could be the same brain, could be a different brain. I assume. Wonkers is fine. He's just in in a bit of a coma. He's in that thing you use to put spaces inside of sentences. You know, a coma. <laughs> I love how crazy colored that shop is. Room. Oh, not this way. Do, 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 do. I say the load times are really short. I mean, it's totally reasonable that you chop up these regions like this because A, it simulates walking distance, and B, especially in 2006, you couldn't count on the CPUs having enough processing power to keep all these, you know, high quality graphics in there. Actually, I think the graphics look nice. Like, it's low poly, but I really think it looks great, and I think a lot of it is because of the baked in shadows. Like, it really, you know, the shadow on the wall and the ground here, it all looks really, really good. And that's not dynamic, you bake it in ahead of time. And it makes it really fast, like it's part of the textures. Knock, knock. Hopefully there's no one here murdering me. Police have come by, noticed the door's been unlocked, so they set a big trap. Next time someone hacks it, it just explodes. Alright. I've removed Lucia's power source and brain. Nothing left but mechanical parts now. Insert brain. Insert... Power source. Oh. Oh, Zoe, I had a dream about you. I had many dreams. I dreamed that you took my mind away. You're okay now, Lucia. I am? Oh. That's good. Where's Reza? He'll be back soon, I'm sure. Dream you took my mind away. That sounded creepy. I miss Reza. Right, I need the password. Lucia? Yeah, Zoe? Please, please let this work. I'll be here when you come back. That's the password, Zoe. I guess you received the message. Don't worry. Reza's probably okay, but he needs you to do him a favor. He keeps a notepad in his safe. It contains information about the stories he's currently working on. It's encrypted, but Olivia should be able to decrypt it. Ask her to hold on to it, and don't let it fall into the wrong hands. If something bad has happened to him, the reason why is most likely in that notepad somewhere. In that case, make sure the truth gets out. Follow me, Zoe. I'll open a safe for you. Groovy. Yeah, make noise. Walk on top of the glass. Ah, oh, I cut my feet. 
Oh. Nikki. I see the notepad. Reza's notepad. Wait, it's an actual physical notepad? It's an encrypted, of course. Uh, it looks like Olivia a paper notepad. Oh, no, it is computer. Notes. It's a computer notepad that's made to look like a paper notepad. Oh, shite. Who was that? Hey. Hey, what are you doing here? Who are you? Freaky vampire people. <coughs> um, could you please not stab me? Creepy vampire twin people. I really do feel like playing Vampire the Masquerade again. Oh. What was that all about? I'm going to kick your ass later. What Both your asses. Just all four cheeks. Who were they? That was close. I have become a magnet for trouble. Or more accurately, Rez has gotten himself involved in something really bad. I just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. These past two days have had... Enough close shaves to last me a lifetime. And if it keeps going like this, it'll be a very short lifetime. Who were those twins? Oops. What were they looking for? And why didn't they say a single word? There was something so scary and almost inhuman about them. They're vampires! I should take Reza's notebook back to live and have her decoded as soon as possible before more misfortune befalls me. I agree. Lucia's back on her feet. I wish the same Can I have my brain back? Where's Reza? I miss Reza. <laughs> Two roaming doctors just hey, running around checking people's pulses. That's right, him. Right here. Please switch yourself off, Lucia. Okay, Zoe. Do you think I'll dream about Reza? Not really, because I'm going to take your brain. Yes, I'm sure you will. Good. Sorry, Lucia. This belongs to Wonkers. Excellent. Reza's Wartilla. Her name's Lucia. If I only had a brain, da 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 da. So we have just a little bit more time left of this stream. Probably long enough to get this uh, notepad decoded, unless we're about to be... Oh, the cat! What do you think? Someone's a shapeshifter? Didn't I see that same cat yesterday? No, it's a glitch in the Matrix. To me, the cat look a little creepy. Something odd about its eyes. Yeah, well, you've seen creepy girls on the TV screen, too, so. Everything's creepy all the time. Do-do-do-do. Anything here? I never did check over here. Feel... Okay, good. I feel better having checked that door now. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Ah! The creepy guy who's watching me. He's back. Could really use a coffee. Do 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 do. Oh, I got a message. Keeping appointments. I missed you at practice this morning, Zoe. I don't need an explanation, but I'm canceling all your future appointments unless you again in person. I think we need to talk about whether or not there's going to be any point in keeping our lessons going. No. Oh. Yeah, well. I think I'm going to get plenty of combat practice. Don't worry about it. All right, let's drop off the notebook. It's a DVD from the 20th century, or 21st century. Hey Zoe, what's up? You look a little pale. I was trained by a vampire. I believe this. I was attacked. Again. What? Sweetie, are you okay? Yeah, just, just a bit shaken. Her belt buckle is was pink. Was I? Hmm. No. I was in Reza's apartment, looking for his notebook, when these two girls showed up. They looked like they were twins. I really thought they were going to kill me. One of them slammed me up against the wall, knocked the breath out of me, and... Then they left. Both of them. Without saying a word. It looked like they received a message. What were they looking for? Did they take anything? No. They didn't even take the notebook. I dropped it on the floor. They must not have noticed it. I think I got really lucky. Mm -hmm. Then I came straight here. I need your help with the notes. And the notepad, do you still have it? Give it to me, sweetie, and I'll see what I can do. It'll turn out she's evil. Oh, yeah, I have to scroll to the notepad. 
Here you go. Here's Reza's notepad. Okay. Just a sec, and I'll let you know what we're dealing with. That was a sudden turn. Okay, sweetie. I need time to equip this thing. It's got some heavy locks on it. Except for the final entry. For some reason, that's only got basic encryption. Which Reza knows I'd be able to quickly crack. Of course! He wants us to read it. Reza's all about it the crack and Venice the myth. Newport, the Fringe, Charlie. That's it. Newport. That's in North America, the West Coast. I wonder what the Fringe is. Maybe he's meeting this Charlie guy at a restaurant. I have to go to Newport. I don't know, sweetie. Maybe you should just give the information to Reza's editor. And I was told Never not to leave Casablanca. I, I can't do that. This is Reza we're talking about. He's in trouble. I can't just sit here and wait for no, him to come No, not here. Back. In your bedroom. It's awesome up there. You're right. I mean, he's my friend too, and I want to help him. I just don't know if going to Newport is the way to do that. What else can I do? It's the only clue I have. Venice, Newport. But America? Really? Mm. That's probably where Reza's gone. To see this Charlie person. I'll work on decrypting the rest of Reza's notes. We need to figure out what he was working on. It could take a while, so I'll just close up the store. Are you sure? My regulars know how to get in touch. I'll call you as soon as I got something. And there's never right. any other customers in here anyway. Thanks, Liv. You're the best. Take care, okay, sweetie? I want you back in one piece. Speaking of One Piece, let's put our brain back in. I need in. to go home and get my backpack before I leave oh. for Newport. It is locked. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Reza was going to Newport in North America to a place called Venice to meet someone named Charlie at the Fringe. Whatever and when, wherever that, whatever and wherever that may be. If that's where he's headed, I'm going after him. He definitely needs my help. I'll just run home, get some clothes in my backpack first. Don't think Newport will be quite as sunny as warm as Casablanca. We're inviting. Yeah, God. Just forget about your ex. He's moved on anyway, so don't worry about it. Do do do. And we'll make sure to fix Wonkers as well. Keep expecting there to be police in here. Wonkers. I'll have to put Wonkers together again after all this is over. Or I won't be able to live with myself. What do you mean after this is all over? Here you go. Yes, oh. maybe? Hello, Zoe. Yay! Hey, you're as good as new. How do you feel? I feel the same as always. Why? No reason. It's good to have you back. It's not like your brain was in any Thank other you, machine or anything like that. Everything's fine. I'm gonna have to leave you here for a while while I go to America. Oh, that's it. Whoa! Wait, is that how we travel in the future? It's like a tube that goes under the ocean or something crazy like that? Oh, this is cool. Hypertrain! Hypertrain, hypertrain. Do, do, do. Oh, nice seats too. Very posh. It's snowing! Either that, it's like nuclear ash from Fallout. One or the other. Do, 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 Bird. Mine? 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 There's decent graphics here, considering the game's almost 10 years old. I smell the enemy. They are close. 
They're okay. very stupid. Naane, you divert their attention when they get close enough. Bryn, stay behind Chowan. Oh. I can handle. I don't care if you wield your sword like an Igainon blade dancer. We're not at home. We don't have the advantage. Follow my lead, Bryn. Your blade will taste blood today. Worry not. I think we're in the other world. Let the smoke clear before you attack. The toxins lose their effect quickly, but you should still not breathe them. Got it. Hey, Juan. What do they smell like, the enemy? Hush. They smell like They're hush? Wrong. What is it? Frozen water. I haven't seen this before. You'll tire of it soon enough, Bayad. It's almost like, like walking on clouds. Would you believe that some Eastlanders strap metal bars to their feet to make them glide on the ice? It looks ridiculous. Did you hear something? Yeah, someone casting a spell. Oh, okay. Ow! Stop hitting me with the sword! Holy crap! Really? Sister will tear your soul to pieces in the afterlife. Westlander scum. Yes. Boom. Shit. Um, maybe I should go help out over there. Wait, he's back? Wait, who? What? Oh, this guy. Oh, I'm half dead already. I'm just gonna keep using the heavy attack. Look at that. That's the way to do it. Boof. Easy. Where's your goddess now? Go back to the hell you I'm a girl! I thought I was a little boy. The Azadi are coming farther and farther north. We kill ten, another twenty appear. So we kill them too. They're not invincible. That's not the way to stop them, Bryn. We need a better plan. Our sources. I need a better cloak. Mine's all ripped. Information. I hope so. Can I have like, the outfit the green lady is wearing? The supplies and bringing them back to the swamplands. Everything else. Really, we live in the swamplands. They are old. Really. On us. If another moon passes, the children will be at risk. If they should fall ill. Naane is right. We go She's back yellow, as soon not green. as we have what we came for. And we do not engage the enemy within scouting distance of the city. We'll be cautious, Chuan. Now we continue. Another few days due south, and we'll see her. That cape Makiria. graphic, though. I can't wait to see the city. If it's anything like you've described, April, it must be amazing. It's been a long time. Things change. Come on, let's move out. Wait, I missed that. Did he call me April? Am I April? Is this April? I completely missed part of the dialogue because I was reading the chat. 201. Wow, this place sucks. Why would I come here? Go back to Casablanca. Although, you've got a hoodie now. Hoodies are cool. Ah. Subject, question mark, question mark, question mark. What happened yesterday? Who's, who's asking me? That's Carlita? You weren't home, several people showed up, and no one, nobody knew where you were. Yeah, 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 I know, I was in prison! <laughs> sure. Now to find the fringe in this Charlie person. Maybe one of the locals can help me. Or I'll get murdered. Let's walk into the alley, it's fine. Oh, we've got the, uh, the free cabs here too, excellent. Two crossroads. Yeah, let, let's walk down this, this alley, I'm sure everything will be totally fine. Hello, people of this shanty town. How are you? This is where, this is where April was. Isn't it? This is where we were in part one. You were playing as a nine years older April there. Because I, I think that's right. I remember these, these, uh, these walkways. Okay. It's been really long since I played the last shit. game. Okay, shit, really? You're freaking out now? You have a fear of heights? You didn't seem to be bothered by the elevator. Okay, we've got about 10, min 10 more minutes left, so let's see what we can do. Hello, lady. Come, please. Hello, stereotype man. Nice and warm. I can feel my hands and toes again. He looks like he could sell pretty much anything. And, okay, he does. Are you talking to me? 
Yes, yes, you. You see anybody else around? Are you talking to me? I think so, no. Are you talking Welcome to me? to Best Shop in Venice. Anything you're looking for, I provide. Except drugs. Competition too strong. I don't want any drugs. Look. My I boyfriend's already place. a drug dealer. It's and fine. I'm wondering if you... No shit. You fit right in. Now, what can I get you? I'm not looking to buy anything right now. Well, this is shop. Place of business. No loitering. I'm not loitering. You called me over here. I'm really happy she changed her outfit. I hate details, games where you stay the details. same the entire time so, through. You need any help? Uh, what was that about drugs? What do you think, guys? Do we ask about drugs or do we just go directly for the fringe? <laughs> Buy a Mogway! Yeah! Don't get them wet, though, and it's raining. This would be really bad. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. Check the other chat. Do, do. Drugs are drugs. All right. What did you mean about drugs and competition? Drug market's very dangerous in Venice. Venice Do you have any antidepressants? I really need not some. Not a good place for young lady. Especially not pretty young lady. I don't plan on staying. Well, you hurry and do what you need to do. Then get out. Quickly. Get out. Gangs? No. I'm looking for a place called The Fringe. Ah, The Fringe. So you know where it is? No. I certainly do. Oh. Well, could you tell me, please? <sighs> yes, yes. Keep pants on. Very close. Go to other side of Crossroads. Find Via Milano. Go through Tano to Florence Square. And there you are. On the other side. Thanks. You are most welcome. And good luck. Okay. I'm gonna get murdered. I'm going to get Ooh, murdered. Come by. Best store in Venice. Cheap. Top quality. Made in China. Oh, there's a lock. What's going on over here? Hey, kid. My God. He's just a kid. Piss off, sister. Better leave me be. I'm almost a Shakespearean by now, and I'll get my name soon. I guess that's some sort of gang. Where does I'm this go? I'm not sure I want to find out what's up there. Well, I'm sure I'll want to, but for now, uh, I think this might be the tunnel. Florence Square, yeah. I'm gonna get brutally murdered. La da 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 da. No one's ever gonna find my body. La dee 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 dee. The fringe! Is this the coffee shop that April Rain, Ryan, used to work at? This is! Or at least go to. I think you sort of worked or went to. This is the coffee shop. The fringe. I think. It's a buzzer. Buzz. Yeah? Hello, is Charlie there, please? Who is this? My name's Zoe. I'm a friend of Reza. I'm looking for him. I think he might have been here. I don't know anybody named Reza. Sorry. Goodbye. Wait. He's a reporter. Goes by the name Jericho. <sighs> All right. Come on in. Do you have any coffee? I require caffeine. She took the hood down! This game just gets better and better. I love it. Whoa, swanky. She's a vampire. Yes, can I help you? I can tell. She's super pale. I'm looking for Charlie. He's down there past the bar. It's a vampire bar. Thank you. Whatever. Well, F you too, biatch. Look at this place. Oh, it's super cool. Fish! Ooh, candles. Scented. Vanilla and champagne. Ooh, I like vanilla candles. What do we have over here? Bonsai tree. I like that whole Japanese theme they've got going on here. Mm-hmm. Because it's vampires. Japanese vampire cult. That must be Charlie. Excuse me. Are you Charlie? Yeah. Zoe, right? You said you're a friend of Jericho's? That's right. Has he been here? How do you know Jericho? We go way back. If you're such good friends, why do you need to track him down? Can't you just call him? It's a long story. Jericho's investigating a story, and he's gone subterranean. His mobile's off. 
He may be in danger. I need to find him. Look, Charlie, he left me a message with your name in it. It's the only clue I have to go on. All right. I believe you. I spoke with Jericho a couple of days ago. He called me, asked me some questions. I answered them. That's all. I really didn't want to get mixed up in anything. I have a business to run, and my customers don't like publicity. Sorry, girl. I wish I could help, but that's everything I know. This is really not helpful. All right, last vote. A straw poll over here. Should we plead, bargain, or threaten? Ten threats. Boom. There we go. Okay, we're going to finish the conversation, then we're going to take a break. We're going to head back over to the Quill 18 channel and do some multiplayer Civilization 5. But first, we're going to finish this conversation. Mm, threaten is winning? Really? Oh, now bargain's coming ahead. Mm, tied. No one wants to plead. I agree, that's like way too passive. Uh, looks like bargain is coming up ahead. 46% on the vote, threatens at 38%. With a couple hundred votes in, I'm going to call it Bargain the One. If you have any information, it, it would be worth a lot to me. Is that so? Like what? Money? Or... Oh my god, you pervert! Something else, like yourself. Uh, I... I'm not... You I'm going to kick you in the nuts. Girl. I get it. You must love this guy a lot. That's all I needed to know. Look, your friend, he was here last night. He said some things shouldn't cross the wire. He wanted to know about this place I used to live in, a place called the Border House. The Border House? It was a boarding house for students, run by an English lady, Fiona. That's where Jericho got my name from. The place has been turned into a hotel now. That's where April used to live, hotel. right? Shady place. Jericho wanted to know everything about the building. Entrances, exits, floor plans, the works. He didn't tell me, and I didn't ask. But my guess is he was planning to break into the place. Why? There are stories. They say the place isn't really a hotel, but some kind of front for... I don't know. And I don't want to know. Is like it I drugs? Said, it's drugs, isn't it? You can tell what me if it's drugs. Stories? Look, Drug stories. I get all sorts in here. I hear things. But if I start shooting my mouth off, I get burned. I lose my customers. I lose my business. Hell, with some of the people that come in here to party... I could lose a lot more than that. So don't get me wrong. I would love to help you. But like I told your friend, I can't say much more than that. I understand. So Jericho was interested in the layout of that place. What did you call it? The Border House. Victory Hotel. Yeah. I told him there are canals running underneath the building and that there's a backyard. Since they drain the water, you can use the canals to get around. There might be a way into the building from the back. And Jericho, he went there last night. I honestly couldn't tell you, girl. We spoke, he left, haven't heard from him since. Okay, well, I guess that's a start. Victory Hotel. All right. Uh... Do you own this place? Nah, I just run it. I used to own it, though. Bought it cheaply right after the collapse, hoping business would pick up again. It never did. I managed to sell it eventually, and the new owners hired me back to manage it. With the new capital, we turned the business around. We're one of the hottest places to go in Newport right now. We get VIPs from around the world. They scram in, party, leave the next morning. Funny thing is, 10 years ago, this was a popular student hangout. Right! The Fringe Cafe. I worked here as a bartender. You were the bartender! This I remember you! Venice, it was a this great, is great. place to live. We used to think it was the same. See, I'm going to have to go back and play The Longest Journey now, it guys. Was, for a while. Different world, different times. The collapse changed a lot of things. Hell, it changed everything. Where is the Victory Hotel? It's on a street called The Brink. Walk to the other side of the crossroads, past the Chinaman's store, you'll get to a bridge called The Rialto. Cross what the news Rialto on The Rialto? Marco Polo. Marco Polo will take you to The Brink. Victory Hotel's on the end of the brink. Big gray building, wooden door, bench out front. That's complicated. I think there's some scaffolding Can I take still a cab? left from the construction work. That might help you get down into the canals, but 
I haven't been around there in a while. Have you lived in Venice all your life? Feels like that sometimes, but no. I came here for school when I was 19. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts. It was famous, still is, but uh, for very different reasons. Back then, it was the best art school in the city. After the collapse, I lived uptown for a while. I needed to get as far away from Venice as I possibly could. Place has gone to hell the past decade even more so than the rest of Newport. I don't live here. No one lives here, not if they have a choice. Uh, I think we're going to call it quits here. I could talk to him all day, but Thanks, we have Charlie. to play some Civ. I appreciate all your help. you welcome, girl. Let me know if you find your friend, all right? <clears throat> all right. Rez is okay, thank God. He was planning to break into the place. I have to follow him there. So I will put a save in here. I might have to play some more of this. This is I don't know. I enjoying this, but I think if I played, it would have to be live streamed because I like the uh, the interactive voting kind of thing. So we'll have to see. But for now, so everyone over on uh, Twitch.tv/gogcom, thank you very much for stopping in and watching this. I will be moving the party back to Twitch.tv/quill18. Of course, uh, if you want to support both channels, feel free to follow both, and that would be swell. And also, if you haven't noticed, we are trying to do some fundraising for the Extra Life Charity Marathon. Uh, you can get to it. I'll post the link right now. Come on. Come on. You can do it, computer. You can do it. Boom. If you want to uh, donate to support children's charities, you can donate here. Donate here. Boom. And boom. And I want to thank everyone who's uh, already donated. And we have raised... What are we at now? What are we at? Come on. Load computer. Computer? They like Scotty there. Computer? Computer? It's not loading. My internet's not dead. I'm still streaming. Maybe someone killed the Extra Life website. Well, that's unfortunate. So I can't tell you what the uh, the total donation is at. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna flip back over to uh, the Quill 18 channel. See you guys there in a minute. Um, yeah. So the screen will go down, and I'm gonna pick it up over on the other side. Bye bye.